Hey everyone, welcome to Trail Sage, and this week we're at my local trails in Gladwin, Pennsylvania. I'm here today because I did a technical trail running video last year, but I think I can take it one step further. So let's go see if we can find some tech. You know, one of the toughest things about trail running is when you come across rock gardens like this, where you have rocks coming in at an angle. There are two things that we can do, and that is we can change our speed and we can change our stride length. You wanna time your stride so that you're hitting these rocks so that your ankle's not compromised. So let's take this situation as an example. When I come to this rock right here, I don't wanna hit this with this side of my foot because that could cause my ankle to roll. So instead, I'm gonna try and time my stride so that I'm hitting this rock with this side. I'm not worried about my ankle folding this way, but I know that the rock is gonna keep my leg secured and I can use it to propel myself forward. So use your stride length and speed to your advantage. Here's another really tricky section. We have a ton of rocks in all different shapes and sizes. Some of them are pretty sharp. And the idea here is you wanna avoid as much of this as possible. You don't wanna to get to a section like this and have your head straight down. You wanna be looking up and scanning ahead so that when you get to an area like this, you're already noticing all the different spots on the trail where you can place your foot. If you don't have your head up, then what ends up happening is you have to cut your speed drastically and now you're picking your way slowly across these rocks. Well, here's another really tricky section with a ton of roots. These things get so slick. When your shoe hits these and they're wet, it's just slide city. The best way to attack a root section is the same as the rocks. You wanna get your head up and you wanna aim for the spot between the roots. If you do have to put your foot onto a root, then you wanna do it very lightly. You don't wanna apply any kind of down pressure on any roots. Again, use your speed and your stride length to map your way through this. How many times have you run into a feature like this where there's a log going across the trail and in this case we have a nice cutout? Well, on a log like this, when it's wet, if you have some bark, there's plenty of grip here and there's really nothing to worry about. But when there's a cutout or there's no bark like this, so you have bare wood, this stuff gets really, really slick in the wet. So when you're trail running, the idea is to really unweight your foot when you get to the log. You don't want any kind of pressure coming down here, pushing off or even coming back. So if you're a four foot striker and you come down and you try and put power off to take off, you're gonna slip and then end up falling forward, hitting your shins or even your knee. If you come down strong on your heel, you risk slipping out this way and falling backwards, neither of which you want. Try and get as much shoe on the surface as you possibly can, but don't put any weight on it or at least minimize the amount of weight that you put on it. Well, that does it for this video. If you have any feedback or questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And if you wanna see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, welcome to Trail Sage, and today we're gonna to do some some train sounds. Welcome to Trail Sage, and today we're gonna to still do some more train sounds. Hey everyone, welcome to Trail Sage, and this week we're at my local trails in Gladwin where there's large trucks and cars riding through the streets all the time. It is lunch. And if there's a large plane above, then oh crap! Oh, it's the busiest road on the face of the planet. Note to self, don't record at 9.30. It's the basic same concept, you wanna... So... <laughs> and we have helicopters. My foot's falling asleep. <laughs> Folks, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through this. <laughs> I can't win. Let's wait a little bit for the breeze to calm down. <laughs> I just... Oh, these planes. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Good movie. Oh, did I just give away my age? In some cases. <sighs> oh, my knees. These planes are killing me.